welcome back to your 3ds Max tutorials. This tutorial I'm going to introduce you to what's known as Mass Effects. It's a fantastic tool that 3ds Max has incorporated over the, the, the recent years in its, in its software. And if you haven't got it on your toolbar already, if you right click anywhere on your toolbar and scroll down to Mass Effects toolbar and just make sure that that's highlighted. Okay, I'm just going to start off, I'm just going to draw in a plane. Something like so. Now, this what we're going to use Mass Effects for in this case is creating a realistic cloth effect out of this plane. So this plane is going to fold and crease and wrinkle as if it was um, as if it was an actual garment or an actual uh, piece of fabric. So this Mass Effects has built-in physics to it, but what it relies on is the geometry of the object itself. And in this case, we only have. So I'm about to draw in a second plane there by mistake. Excuse me, excuse me. So with this, this plane, as you can see, there are only um, four grids or four segments along the way, along each direction. So I'm gonna up, 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 up that amount, 40 by 40. So now you, you can imagine when this folds, it has a, has a lot more geometry uh, to use um, for, for, its, uh, for its fold lines. So let's get in, let's get cracking. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it up like so. I'm going to put back in my ground plane so I can see how far I'm moving up. That's fine. I'm going to back in, go back into my create panel and I'm going to draw a sphere. And I'm just going to draw it somewhere like so. And then I'm going to move him up also. He might be a bit big. I'll just reduce the radius. That looks good. Now I'm going to go back into the Align tool and I'm going to align it with the plane in the X and Y position. If I align it in the Z position, it's going to make the pivots exact in the exact same location, but I don't want that. So we'll run with that the way it is. That's great. So now our plane lives directly above this, this ball. Now the great thing about Mass Effects is it, it has the properties built in so it will recognize the lines and points of the of the, the sphere and it will also recognize the lines and points of the plane and when that falls it should fall over neatly now there will be a, some manipulation but uh, we'll use mass effects just just we'll just get uh, to show it as it is by default okay so i'm going to start off with my sphere and if you see up here let me zoom in for you. So you can see up here, if we click that and hold, it gives us a number of, of settings. So we can have a dynamic, a kinetic, or a static rigid body. And that's what we're going to use for this instance, is a st static rigid body. That's fine. And now I'm going to click on the plane. And I'm going to select the little uh, T-shirt icon. And drop that down so you can set selected as mcloth object or remove mcloth. So we're going to set selected as M cloth object. So now it recognizes that the plane is a cloth and the sphere is a, is a collision object. And just here you can see we can go reset simulation or we can start simulation or go to end. We're just going to start this simulation and hope for the best. Okay, so a little bit, let me pause it again. It's a little bit droopy. It's not really falling as, as much as as much as I would have liked. So I'm just going to reset that. And I'm going to move everything up again a, a little bit more. So it's not um, clashing with the ground plane. So we'll go with something like that. And play. Now we can see. So it's ripping all the way through the sphere. So let me undo that. Now we need to change some settings. So if we look down here in our command panel, there is gravity scale, density, stretchiness. Okay, so I'm just gonna reduce the density to 0.5. One is the maximum. Oh, sorry. One, one is, is already too much, so let's just put it down to 0.5. Sorry, with the stretchiness and the bendiness, one, one is the maximum. So I'm just gonna play that with half the gravity. Okay, so it's holding on. I'll hold it there like that. And you can see it's still, still doesn't. It's not falling. It's draping 
quite as much as I'd like. So I'm just going to reset it once more. And I'm going to put the stretchiness up to 0.5. Let's see what that does. Okay, too much. Let me put it to 0.1. See what that does. No. I'm going to put that to 0 again. And I'm going to put the bendiness to 0.1. And see what that, see how that works. Okay, bendiness helps us out a little bit. Let me reset it once more. I'm going to put the bendiness up to 0.5. Let's see how this one works this time. Okay, that's a nicer kind of a nicer kind of hang. It doesn't flare out so much on the sides. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, so there's one there's another little thing that I'm going to show you. Another few things about this that I would uh, that I would like to introduce you to. Even though that works well, I'm going to reset the bendiness back to zero. I'm going to play it. Okay. And I'm going to reset the gravity scale back to one. Just so it falls through. Okay. So another thing we can do is we can, we can increase its self-collision and we can increase its, uh, the thickness um, of the offset to the rigid object. So you can see here it says collide to rigid object. So we can increase that. Let's put it up to about 14, just there thereabouts, and play it. And then now you can see how much it swells. You can particularly see it in the front view. So you can see how much there's an offset from the sphere, which is the collision object, and the cloth itself. Okay, so I'm going to reset that back down again. It was in around the, the tree. And I'm going to put the bendiness all the way up to one. And let's see how this, this falls. Okay. I'm going to put the gravity scale back down to 0.5. Now, this really does take some, uh, some editing and some manipulation to find exactly the exact kind of drape that you like. Okay, let me see how this goes. So, if we look closely, we will see that this object seems to be kind of crossing over on itself. It's not, it's not too bad. Let me just reset it. Set my plane. Yeah, set my plane. So it has a self thickness. So if I reduce the self thickness to 0.3 and play that. Okay, just let me go back a bit. I play it and I'll stop it before it falls. Okay. So now you can see that the, the actual cloth itself, you can see is actually falling over on itself, increasing on itself like so. So I'm going to go back into this plane and I'm going to increase this again to maybe four, there, thereabouts. Reset and play. Okay. I kind of like that now. I'm going to pause it at that. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. So, one other thing now that we can do, or a few other things, maybe two more things that we'll do to make this look a little bit more realistic. First things first is I'm going to make a shell of the actual object itself. So let's shell it um, outwards by not too much. We don't want to go too heavy. We're only dealing on a very small scale here as it is. So let's just bring it to about, about half a mil, just, just for this sake. And then one more, the all reliable turbo smooth. We'll put it up to maybe two, two iterations is fine. So now we can see that beautiful, realistic, let me just zoom in on this entire screen. So you really have that realistic, um, realistic drape like so but one more thing now before I finish if I just go back here I'm gonna turn off these two just for just gonna unactivate them for a minute and when we scrub our, our scrubber along the animation bar you can see that um, it doesn't have any effect so if I pause this for a second and I'm just gonna pause the video I'm just gonna pause the video for one second because this is gonna uh, freeze freeze the video so if just bear with me, I'll be back in one second. Okay, sorry about that. We're back in action. 
So if I highlight on M, highlight the M clot, and you can see, I'm just going to show you one more time. If I scrub this back like so, we can't actually, we can't. It's not actually moving with us. It's not actually um, animating the scene for us as we'd like. That's because we need to bake it. So let's just play this simulation through one time. And when we're happy with it, we can let it go, pause that, that's fine. So now this little bake button in the mplot simulation, if we hit bake, it's gonna animate this for us all the way through. It's gonna bake it and, and insert it into our into our animation. And that just means that our M mass effect editing is now complete. Not, we can't do any more, we can't edit any more of, of the, the parameters. Like so, we just drag it through. Okay, we can turn back on our shell and on with our turbo smooth. Let's run that through. And what we can do is, we can take this now from any position that we like. So if there's a particular, particular view, and as I showed you before, we can take the object, move it, save it as a copy, and we can convert that to an editable poly. We can leave it where it is. We can scrub back a little bit further, and then we get this other beautiful piece. Maybe move him over a little bit further, make him as a copy, and convert him to an editable poly. And then maybe just back something like so. Let's shift him over, like, over out of the way. We won't bother with the naming and convert to edible poly. And I'm just gonna go all the way, yeah, something like so. So now we can see we all we, we have our transition from beginning to end, and then we just move him out of the way, I'll copy him. And I can convert him to an editable poly once more. And let me just turn off this guy for a sec. And same with this guy. So now we have it. So now you have a number of um, objects that you can use for, for different elements. But again, it, the idea of, of just the purpose of, of the animations is so that you can actually take the different objects within at different states, at different stages, and you can use them as you will. Okay, so in our next tutorial, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about uh, using, um, using planes to create cloth, um, the cloth or garments. Other than the mass effects, the mass effects is good for a quick, uh, a, a quick um, kind of editing tool, but we're gonna hone in on creating a, a, a garment a in a little bit more detail in the next tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.